Did you? <laughs> It's good. It's okay. Good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know what we're going to do for intro. I, don't, I have zero ideas for uh, toward intro. There's oh, I, fig- I figured it'd be something simple. Uh, like, we'll put, like, some music and be like, yeah, there's Reno, there's Mike, I'm the wrench, I'm the camera, and this is the Wrench and the Camera Podcast. Okay, simple enough. That's what it is. Yep. <laughs> uh, simple uh. enough. Um, all right, so Thanksgiving passed. But what I realized was we're kind of rude. We didn't uh, wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving for the last podcast or any type of, well, we started it before Halloween. So I don't think yeah. there's any other yeah. holiday before that. <clears throat> yeah, we started before Halloween. So, yeah, now we yeah. got to you know, keep a mental note. Of when the podcast is going to come out and wish you guys happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, New Year, and such like. Yeah, all that stuff, if you care. Um, yeah, as long as you remember. I'll, I'll write it down. <laughs> um, I just found out Marina doesn't write down. <laughs> the, the, he has other notes for his, his starving camera business. Not, <laughs> not camera photography. For he said star photography. starving business. <laughs> it's thriving. <laughs> nah, Marino, it is thriving. You're amazing. I thought you said starving. I said thriving. Yeah, uh, thriving. What? Why would I say starving? <laughs> I don't know. That's I'm why I friend. laughed. That's why I laughed. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? Dang, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Marino's amazing. It's thriving. Hit my boy up. New Hype Media. Do uh, you have the thing on Instagram where it says you could book with you or whatever? Uh, I have like a booking website, yeah. Yeah. That stuff. Hit him up. He does everything. Try to anyway, but yes. Yeah, uh, speaking of like Thanksgiving and holidays, we just had Black Friday, which everyone usually looks forward to Thanksgiving for. Yeah, after. But it's uh, it's your this whole uh, COVID thing, kind of, kind of makes all that stuff weird. So I work next to a Best Buy, and usually I Best Buy is like going, like goes crazy. But yeah, it's closed. So, yeah. it's, and then I'm at work too, so it's like. It's Black True. Friday. My wife wasn't really talking to me the whole day because she was, <laughs> yeah, we're at this store, yeah, we're at that store, and then, <laughs> yeah. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you go Black Friday shopping? No. I don't think I've been Black Friday shopping in two years. Like, I, stay, I stay home when you go online. Usually, like, Cyber Mondays, Cyber I'll do something. Monday. Yeah. But, like, honestly, this year, it wasn't, like, anything I really wanted. I was like, I could have got it, like, a brand new TV, like people usually do, but I don't know. I'll be cool with tv i got yeah know, i'm like there's nothing that, like really like camera stuff the camera stuff that i want is not really on sale so it's like all right i guess i'm just saving money this year yeah um yeah i only got a i got an impact i don't like I, part of me doesn't like buying stuff uh to do more work with like on sales or yeah. whatever but i guess it makes sense to do that like I'm, I'm treating myself to work harder, I guess. Oh, uh, I mean, it's it's. I mean, for your trade, it's like better tools. Yeah. So it makes your job easier, technically. So um, yeah. So, yeah. I, and it, it's my third impact, too. So it's not like I didn't necessarily need it, but it's the better one, and it's gonna make everything else easier. So you gonna like sell sell your older ones? No, yeah. no. It's just taking up more space in my toolbox. <laughs> actually yeah i'm um that toolbox isn't full yet though i need i need more stuff more stuff that i'm not going to use all the time but it's going to be handy when i need it (laughs) yeah better to have it not need it than to need it and not have it right um thanksgiving what did you do uh just did like a friendsgiving thing friendsgiving okay whenever like cj's and say i was seeing and it was like five or six of us yeah it was like uh like you know cj charlotte devin and like uh chase and like a couple other people and like charlotte cooked okay and we drunk <laughs> we didn't go crazy this year it was like usually weird because every time i go to cj's house dude you trying to get just like pitch black drunk yeah you guys <laughs> <laughs> um we cooked <laughs> um so <laughs> So I'll, this is I'll why, yeah, this is why I need a house and I need a garage space. So like, 
I just don't want to be traveling all over Jacksonville to be with everybody. Just want uh, a big old house. Have everybody just come over. Do yeah, whatever you, yeah, just be over the whole day if you want. It's cool. I'm okay with that. I like being with people that I know. Uh, it's just the strangers that give me a little unease. Uh, so, yeah, we, we cooked. And then we went to someone else's house to eat. And then we went to my in-laws. And then we went to my parents. And then we came back home and didn't touch any of our food till the next day. Oh, see, I like hopped around. Yeah. so I know a couple of people that did that, too. It's kind of funny because my, my bar, well, when I had hair, well, I mean, I still have hair. <laughs> <laughs> Just like at a bald spot. <laughs> <laughs> my barber. My barber. You. <laughs> <sighs> Go ahead, man. <laughs> my barber was like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's like oh, backward so you, I had hair. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be house hopping, huh? I mean, it's, it's been... Mm, Three, four years, something like that. Did you like house hopping? No, three, four years of me being like just cutting all my hair off. Oh, hey. Um, okay, yeah. Since we're on this hard topic, they say if a man, when a man goes bald, he knows what it feels like to die. <laughs> it's a little over dramatic, but okay. But, um, <laughs> so I had a bald spot. Well, I have a bald spot, and um, I'm getting a haircut. I'm like, man, um, I don't know if you guys get haircuts, uh, the clippers, and you can feel, yeah. like, the metal part. So, like, I was like, dang, that's kind of cold back there. And usually, like, your hair is, like, you know, dampening the, that feeling or whatever in that particular spot. But because I had no hair or it was thinning, like, I was feeling it. Uh, so then, um, you know, you go to... Um, like inside the mall, like those type of barbers. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know where you get your haircut, but um, those guys in there they got straight razors and they use this. One of the guys used a spray thing on me, and I was like, "This is weird. I didn't ask for this the spray." <laughs> but he like sprayed the back of my head. So of course, this is in the back of my head. I don't notice it, and nobody told me. The next thing I know, like in one like um. So, because I don't work, because I work every Saturday, basically, it's hard for me to get a schedule in, especially like, during the week and stuff. Mm-hmm. So then going to the barber, sometimes it goes like a whole month and then my hair looks horrible. So then uh, we went down to Miami, I took we took a picture and like I saw, like I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I was like, well, I'm cutting my hair after this. This is it. I'm done. I can't. He's like, that was it. I was yeah, see it one time. And then everybody was like, why'd you cut your hair? I had a bald spot. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh, so you knew you wasn't going to tell me? Some uh, friends you guys are. You guys suck. <laughs> you know who exactly who you are. Listen to this. All right? Dang, you guys right? <laughs> didn't tell me. So now I got a bald head. My wife was like, well, you actually, I like, I like the bald head. And I was like. So what, you didn't like me with hair? She was like, well, I didn't know it was an option. I'm just saying that I like. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this is where the conversation goes worse. <laughs> like, like, I just want to say, just stop talking. <laughs> just yeah, like, I just like, I was like where you're at right now. Me. So, um, yeah, that's the story. Hey, man. You got, but, you got friends that can't even rank on you about your bald spot? Yeah, and then my, like, so. <laughs> Usually that's how we that's how we tell you. <laughs> so, uh, my barber, Daryl. He stopped being a barber to go do something else, and then he was also on the mil- on the navy base, which I can't get on anymore because I'm grown and I'm not no longer my parents' dependent. Mm-hmm. Then getting on there was a hassle, and then my brother said he wanted to be a barber, so then I was like, "Well, I'm gonna support you." Start, you know, you cut yeah. my hair, and then still couldn't line up our schedules, and we're like in walking distance of each other. That was another one. Yeah. He was like, Why, yeah. Why'd you cut it? I was like, Bro, you literally cut my hair. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? It wasn't that bad. All right. All right. Anyway, Daryl <laughs> said, Stop house hopping. You're, the, okay. Like, just let's do that. But yeah, we lack space. Yeah. There's, there's stuff everywhere. And yeah. yeah. I just like the house hopping thing because you got like, 
when you got a bunch of people that you cool with and you're one time with some Thanksgiving thing at their place or whatever. It's like, yeah. All right, what time are we starting? Cool. 11 o'clock, I'm going to be here. 1 o'clock, I'm going to be over here. 3 o'clock, I'm going to be over here. And then there's no <laughs> nice way to say, like, all right, well, it's uh, time for me to go. Or you're just like, all right, hey, I'm going to eat your food and I'm going to dip. You just don't say anything. You just dip. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to dip. Go somewhere else. Or, like, and then, then you got to, like, strategically eat. But not stuff yourself. Yeah, yeah, not stuff yourself. So like maybe maybe you really do like the food, but you got small portions. So maybe yeah. they're looking at you like, "Hey man, is my food disgusting?" Yeah, let nah, me know. So I'll be taking it home to your place. Right, right, right. right, right, right. They come back home at the end of the day. Yeah. Free yeah. If food. we met, if we met last week, which I mean, now you guys know, but if we met last week, then I brought I brought food over, but we didn't, and it's too it's too long now. It's too too. <laughs> it's a week week old food nah bro nah it's not nah, good nah, nah that's not it <laughs> yeah. um you said you went the hot pot yeah so it's, i don't even know how to describe it how would you describe hot pot it's a it's, it's like a korean barbecue ish is that so what it is they got i think that's what it i think that's where it originated no, nope, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to speak and then get canceled because I just said <laughs> Asian people do it. <laughs> it. It's this really cool place where they cook. Uh, you basically sit down with, you know, one or two people or, you know, three or four or whatever, like a group, it's really small group. It, and then group. They, like they have uh, um, like at your table, they have like this grill or whatever uh plate in the middle of the table so they cook your food you, or you can cook your food i've heard it both ways i heard somebody went where my friends went you could cook your food and they they cooked it for you they cooked everything for them really yeah it was like there's some nephew's birthday party or something but they cooked everything for them so i don't know if there's like an option where they do both but um it's like a four course meal they yeah. start with your cheeses uh, which i didn't know was like a big thing and then the appetizer which hot pot did you go to the one on I don't even remember. I don't even know. I thought there was only one. Was it literally called? It's literally called Hot Pot, right? Yeah. I didn't have the same experience, Marina. This is crazy. Oh, okay. Also, before you get into the story, why is it red on the camera? Is that is it's, that because it's... It's recording. That's just what... Okay. That's not the battery. No. Is it blinking red? No. I, I'm just like, seeing a like red a, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's recording. That's and, fine. And you see something flashing at the top right. Okay. Then you're good. All right. Cool. <laughs> Disaster averted. Now, <laughs> I'm, I make sure to have full bags of everything. Cheeses. <laughs> Cheeses. Yeah, yeah. So they said, uh, I guess what do they call it? It's called a fondue. So they had like cheese fondue. So you got to pick out your cheeses, and they kind of melted it, and they brought out, like this whole like wooden thing of like a bunch of like crackers, breads, fruits. And I was like, well, okay, you just dip a bunch of stuff in this cheese fondue, and you, I guess is what people do. I didn't know it was a thing, but I guess it is a thing. All right. So, cultures. so then <laughs> you have the cheese and then you have your regular appetizers and then you have, no, no, it's cheese, salad, then the main on course, like the, all the protein and stuff. And then it's- I swear we didn't go to the chocolate, And then it's like chocolates. So they're like chocolate fondues at the end. So it's like a four course meal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> That's the hot pot I went to. Yeah. It's literally called hot pot. All right. So it's hot pot. I think there's like a Filipino Pacific Islander Asian place right next to it, and then there's Win Dixie. I don't remember Win Dixie being next to it. There's a Win Dixie right there. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah I think it's so hot pot, but every <laughs> time we went there, um, I guess we just didn't. We either. Didn't look at that option or we turned down that option because every time we go there, we're, just, we're straight to the to the entree. Oh, maybe, yeah, because I know they got a bunch of different options. So maybe maybe that's like a different option that we chose. Okay. Yeah, so that's then, what I was just told. He was like, because I guess he, he's been there. We went for someone's birthday. He went there once. Like his, He went with his mom. Yeah. And then, um, like, then he like, I was like, he was like, oh, this place is cool. I want to go there. Like, his right. friends. So. I saw he went and he was like, "Yeah, just chew this. This is what we did. It's like a four course, four course thing." And it was like it was fancy as crap. And I was like, "Dang, okay, and this is how people be living like this." <laughs> so did you? Uh, how much people went? It was four of us at first, and then like five later on. 
but we basically split it two on two. Okay. Um, the thing is, like, because it's like each, it's like a hundred dollars for two. Three, what is it, three or four soup options or whatever that you get the broths. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like when we went with like my whole with my sisters, their husbands, their kids, my parents, and then my family. We went and um everyone separated like the sauces so we could all mm. have all the sauces and I mean not the sauces but the all of the different broths and then we'll, you know, get the different meat and all that other stuff. Okay. So Yeah, I think and we actually own one too, but again, spacing issues, so we're not we're not doing hot pot at home. Oh, not yeah. yet, at least. Hey, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I guess it was just different. It was know. different. <laughs> you know. do it again? Yeah, I would. But that so it, at least the experience I had is more like a special occasion thing. Yeah, I want to like consistently be doing that like every you know month or whatever. It's like I would only do have special occasions because it's like real. I like super fancy, but it's like, it's like a process. Yeah. If you don't know what you're doing, you're, yeah. you will most likely not have a good experience. And if you're not with like, you know, people that you actually like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's yeah. meant to be like a very family, yeah. very close, intimate dynamic. Yeah, it is. Eating and cooking together type thing. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah, you definitely want to go there with people you know <laughs> and that you're cool with. Yeah. Um, uh, what about the... Golden Corral thing. Okay, so, but, you know, COVID happened to yeah, the yeah. whole world. So, uh, that's what I was surprising too, because the uh, first time we went to Hot Pot was during COVID. Mm-hmm. So, it was like, this is a buffet-style place. I was going to say something, but we were talking about being politically correct. and God, That's know. hilarious. Because <laughs> <That's laughs> you, know. you know how the Chinese, yeah, Chinese yeah. places are never closed? Uh well yeah a lot of a lot of the uh, buffet places closed. Uh the Chinese restaurant next to us, she was like saying like yeah we're we kind of like went down because uh well when Donald Trump was in office it's calling it the China virus, <laughs> so then Chinese places was going down because people didn't want to eat Chinese food. They was gonna get that get that stuff get that Rona. I was, I was still eating it. Yeah. <laughs> we, still, we still mess with Fancy I'll, Garden. Fancy I'll, Garden is a cool place. A, I'll die happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, buffets, they like shut down. So you, you know, you would think uh, Golden Corral in particular, because they didn't, they, they don't follow the rules in there. They don't follow the rules. <laughs> Golden Corral. Go to Crow as a kid was a great was a great place. Get you some fried chicken, get you some yeast rolls, pizza. Uh, I enjoyed the teriyaki uh, chicken and white rice oh, yeah. that they had. I killed the shrimp, their popcorn shrimp. Uh, the shrimp was good. What else? What else? Uh, Go to Crow had really it was the rolls for yeah. me. The rolls and the chicken. They're like some of the best rolls ever. Matter of fact, now that we're talking about it, I'm probably gonna go get some after. Yeah, because <laughs> <good>. yeah. <laughs> like if. <laughs> they're like, they're they're, like they're, yeah. it's like two bucks for a box like six they're amazing <laughs> they're they are amazing i would i would get my plate of food and then i'll get another plate with just rolls <laughs> that's how ser- dedicated i am to and those. then their butter i don't know what it is about the butter or whatever they use yeah, it's just like a sweet honey butter or something like that that they put on perfect them. combination it's, it's ridiculous it's, mm. um yeah but golden crawl yeah. shut down during this whole covid thing so like on uh where i live on the west side the Golden Cross shut down. So then during Thanksgiving, it was like, yeah, the grand opening's coming. And I was like, whoa. Sure, yeah. you're, sure we're going to do that? Are they open on Thanksgiving? Uh, They opened around oh, like probably around, it. around that time. And then, okay. uh, but the parking lot was full. Like, there was like people, people were, were, could not wait. I don't know if you've seen Texas Roadhouse. You've been to Texas Roadhouse? Yeah. Texas Roadhouse is always packked. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You've been, like, it's always packed. It's, I the had food it is, it's, it's, it's all right. Yeah, it's not. It's nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, but go to crowd that people couldn't wait. People couldn't wait to be with complete and total strangers, be all up on each <laughs> other as ground zero. The ground zero for COVID. Another one. Golden crowd opened back up, and then like a week later, Omicron came out. <laughs> the new variant. You know yeah. That? Yeah, 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 yeah. The new variant sounds like a Decepticon. <laughs> it did. Yeah. I was like, what? I said, who? 
They're the, like the uh, what? Yeah, they said some article was like it's, the COVID thing is going to become just like a common. It's, it's gonna, yeah, he's, he's going to come and go. Gonna it's going to be like a flu it. or something like that. He's going to have to get a shot. Yeah, every, every while. Man, you got to go on a cruise. So I got to get the. Are you vaccinated? No. Yeah, I got to go. We're going on a cruise, and I got to get vaccinated to do it. But I was just like, man. I was like, I mean, to me, it's like, I mean, at a certain point, I mean, like does it really matter because people are still getting yeah they're still getting that was my whole thing about it like (laughs) it's not it's i'm healthy i'm not uh i'm not at risk or anything like that right uh it doesn't stop covid it doesn't prevent me from getting it it just reduces the symptoms or whatever which the symptoms do suck okay i did have did you did you get did you get it no no all right so marina didn't get it um i did get it so well, okay i'll take that back i don't know if i got it because some people don't really be in symptoms like that yeah so there's a part where i was like kind of sick and i didn't know if it was like covid or not yeah so i was like but it, it only lasted like it was like a week and then i was like fine again. no so that that was about us too so when i when i had it i freaking all we could do we would sleep all right, all right, let's reverse. So my son was sick, so then I'm still going to work and stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, we all got tested. He was positive. Me and my wife were negative. Um, then my wife started feeling funny. We all got tested. My son's positive. She's po- no, she was negative. One day, I'm negative. Then she goes back, and then she's um. She's positive. I'm negative. Uh, my son's still feeling bad. Then when I get sick, he feels better. My wife's sick. I'm sick. So she's hot. I'm cold. Hmm. Which was kind of funny. And usually I'm like the really warm person. So that I'm guessing that's why that happened. Yeah. So I'm shivering and she's trying to take off all the covers or whatever cuz she's extremely hot. Then we would get up and then we would just go to sleep on the couch, couches cuz we had no energy, which is the strangest thing ever. Meanwhile, Caleb was bouncing around having the time of his life cuz both of his parents are home and you know, yeah, it's like, a party. <laughs> um and y'all got the energy for that. I I don't. I don't I literally don't have the energy for it. Um then uh, so my wife's car broke down before, like the week before or whatever. So, mm. and then I I got the part, and then I got sick, and I was like, well, "This is this is stupid, mm. this is stupid." So then I was like, "All right, you know, it's just alternated or whatever. If I could, if I could do this, then I could go back to work." Um, the shortness of breath symptom is like a real deal thing, and I've never felt like that before. But yeah, I was doing some simple stuff, and I'm out of breath. Three okay. steps from the bedroom to the living room, I got to go to sleep. So I just caught up on a lot of sleep and all that stuff. Yeah. Other than that, COVID hasn't really changed my life like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was always worried about getting it, too, because there were, like, people with asthma. It kind of affects worse. Yeah. Um. So, like, I have, like, really very bad asthma. So I was, like, I was worried about that. So I was, like, I don't know if I'll get it. And I was, like, if I, if I get it, it would be really, really bad, I would think. But then it's like, okay, so I take the vaccine, it reduces the effects. I was like, I'm still kind of (laughs) screwed. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, because I feel like you might as well just get it. That way your body's used to it and can react. Like, notice, okay, this is what happened. But then that was the thing, too, because then I like, I really wish there was just information out there that was just 100% factual. There wasn't anybody's opinions. This is what it was. That's the crazy this, thing. No one knows anything. This is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> this, no, no. this is straight up what it is. Like two plus two equals four, period. It's not. We got a whole article. And then nobody, and everyone was like, D- but does it really mean four? And it was like, bro, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could mean four. It could. That's just your opinion. Two plus two equals fish. Yeah. And that's <laughs> what, what people were doing with this thing. And I was just like, dog, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> so <laughs> they're like, well, don't get the vaccine because there are other, you're just going to get sicker. 
And then other people was like, well, you got to get it because it's going to heal you. And then information came out and it was like, nah, you're really, you're st- <laughs> actually, we just want you to get it because uh, I'm going for president and we got to, we got to have this thing <laughs> under wraps. I try to make most people happy. And the most people <laughs> happy and try to get it. And then like people got to get it for like citizenships and stuff like that. Like my cousin. That's um, that's like the crazy thing too, is when you, you get to the point where you're forcing somebody to take a vaccine. It was like I don't care about it either way. It was like you know, or it's people if people take it, you take it. If you don't want to take, it, you don't want to take it. Just whatever. But when you're at this point where you're forcing people to take it, or you can't go to work, or you can't go yeah. see your family, different country, like, or you can't do this and that. I was like, <laughs> and then I, <coughs> I'm a, uh, I'm qualified as an essential worker, right? So the nurses and everybody was a hero. You're a hero now. You know, you got a tight cape. All that mm. stuff. You're saving people's lives. Then I feel so bad for them. Then they're yeah. now they're like, nah, bruh. We reneged on all that. <laughs> Take this vaccine or else. That's like, <laughs> right. But we're not guaranteeing you anything. This is like a very gray I don't know, this <laughs> <laughs> and it's like uh, how many vaccines are they keep coming out with because the, the strain just keeps like it keeps Jeez. evolving well they said that every strain is easier to catch but you're it's not as strong so it's just getting weaker and weaker yeah it's getting weaker and weaker but I, it's funny because it's like why'd you call it omicron omicron sounds kind of strong actually <laughs> it does it sounds very menacing <laughs> sounds sounds like omicron's ready to direct shop like <laughs> It's gonna do some stuff, do some serious seen, damage. Uh, oh, I can't remember what. There's like a show on Amazon Prime, and the uh, the guys. It's like a superhero show. The guys. Oh, like, Invincible. Invincible. Yeah. Yeah. Like, man. Yeah. He's not a nice guy. He's not. A, he's not a nice guy. <laughs> he's like spoiler, su- super spoiler alert. Spoiler. <laughs> spoiler. Go. Go. Get you Amazon Prime. Watch Invincible. I promise you, you'll enjoy. It. Well. Okay, if you if you're in, by the end of episode one, you're like WTF. Yeah, <laughs> you're very confused. <laughs> like, you're what? very confused. If you're like into like superheroes and uh, good animation and stuff like that, bro, check check Invincible out. Especially like the last episode, Dude, check out Invincible. Check it out. Check, check it out. Because it, it started off it's like wild. I was like, man, <laughs> I'm really about to watch another. It started like, real slow and Justice boring. League type thing, and then, like the last so it, five minutes. Yeah, the like, first episode. My wife walked in on the, on the first episode. <laughs> she was like, "What are you? Why are you always watching weird stuff?" <laughs> Actually, today I'm watching uh, Super Crooks on Netflix, and um, <laughs> the, <laughs> you know those memes that was like when you're watching anime by yourself, oh. uh, when your friends are watching <laughs> anime. Yeah. It was like, "Yo, what are you watching?" Yeah, that's what was going on. <laughs> Is yeah. Dang. <laughs> she was like, why? Why every time I walk in here, you always got something crazy going on here? I was like, I don't. I, it's it's not bad, I promise. Yeah, but it's if, just, if, just one if you like superhero stuff, especially anime, I watch like. I watch uh, Invincible. Invincible. I watch Invincible. And My then, favorite character from that was Battle Beast. I mess with. I oh, yeah. Him. Yeah, he was a savage. Yeah, yeah until. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, came, he came up in there. He did what he had to do. He got bored with y'all, and he said. He's out. Y'all not worthy. <laughs> Y'all not worthy of these hands. Bro, that whole episode. <laughs> not worthy of these From that point on, just watch it. Yeah, just watch it. <laughs> just, and just then watch the it. last episode when they changed the animation, that joke was crazy. I mean, man. Y'all should have watched Invincible by now. Hey, wait. But just, just like the fact that he was beating the crap out of his own kid. Yeah, like the he was, living crap. He <laughs> full force over the world, like the whole world saw it. But like he was going coast to coast, country to country. Yeah. Uh, every, every, these hands, every, everybody got a front wheel seat. Those these hands, hand, these hands, they ready to eat for everyone. <laughs> ready to eat for everyone, baby. I was just like. Just watching it, it's like I can't believe this is like really they really ate yeah. It my jaw was <laughs> I, <laughs> like it's really happening. to the floor. This is really happening. I was, all right, I was like, yo, because at first I was like, dang, son, he really tearing, he tearing into you, but like it kept on going. That's what I did. They dragged it out. It kept on going, <laughs> was, and then it was like the such the feeling of like hopelessness because like he, <laughs> Mark, Mark. <laughs> 
Remember, I can't have no chance. Bro. Yeah, so the show's named after the, the main character, Invincible, that's a.k.a. Mark. A, yeah, this is like so, the superhero name. Mm-hmm. So Invincible is a superhero name, and his dad is Omni-Man. So, Which is like, Omni-Man is pretty much like the equivalent of like Superman. And Superman. And um, a building was coming down. So Mark, Invincible, he was trying to hold it up. And then his dad goes straight <laughs> through the building and then, like, throws him to the ground. And then he goes underneath the ground. And then, oh, I've never seen anything more savage than this. He grabbed his own son, put it in front of a subway, and <laughs> killed every, used him as a I, human shield. Killed and killed her. everybody <laughs> under, in the subway system. Yo. This, oh man, that shot was brutal. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yeah, it was brutal. Show they announced season seen. two not too long ago, so I'm like, I can't wait for that to come out because <laughs> you know they always gonna try to top the first. Oh season. my gosh, like, dude, that that was intense. I was like, was I, don't, I, I don't think I was ready for that. <laughs> I, yeah, I was not ready for that last <laughs> I was, episode. I was like, I was um, ready for that. Like I, I had, I was so I like after the. After it ended, I was like, I gotta look up these people. I gotta see. I gotta get more. I gotta figure out. So there's like everybody comics explained in them. Yeah, explained it all. That was like, yeah, that was wild. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, Invincible. Uh, go check out Invincible. Yeah, go check out. Go check out. <laughs> you just had Amazon Prime sponsor us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so last episode we ended on talking about Shang Shang Chi, mm-hmm. and which now on Disney Plus. Yeah. Awesome. Which I thought was, you know, I mean, it was it was good. I fell asleep the first time, first couple times watching it. Uh, Marvel now has a weird landscape because you don't really know. They're like going out after like the B heroes, I guess, if that's what you want to call them. Uh, I guess. Yeah. And uh, so people's contracts are ending in real life. So the, they got changed it up in the movies because. Uh, I know to- uh, not Tony Stark. <laughs> Robert, Downey. Robert Downey Jr. Uh, his already he's already done. Yeah. Um, I think. Uh, the Thor Thor dude. No, he has he has a couple more movies coming out. He does. Yeah, he has a couple more coming out. Uh, I mean, I. Uh, Tom Holland said that he doesn't want to play Spider Man forever, which you know, part of me I get. I get. But I I've, I figured you would want. You would want like at least one comeback role as an actor, yeah, and then you could go branch off and do whatever, whatever yeah. else. I, I, cause I think he's like one of my favorite. Him and Andrew Garfield, like my favorite as the Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought Spider Man got better with every new actor, and I felt yeah. like Tom Holland was like the perfect. Yeah, the Toby. Perfect Toby one. was cool until Spider Man Three, and I was like, mm, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was all that we had, right? It was all that we had. Like, it was the same thing with like X Men. Yeah. Like X Men was good until you went and watched until first class and them came out and you was like, they didn't age well. When was the last nah. time you seen the first three X Men? Uh, it was like a month ago. It was pretty cheesy, but like the Wolverine was like, yeah. I mean Hugh Jackman was, Hugh Jackman was like, like he made that role. He's right? always gonna be. Yeah. Here. <laughs> he has big shoes to fill. <laughs> but I, I remember watching the first one like a month or two ago and I was like. This is the the dialogue was kind of like cringy. Yeah, like, this and and then Rogue was like we were annoying. eating kid kid us was we was eating it up. Yeah, it was, that was it right there, baby. <laughs> uh, but No Way Home. Oh, I'm so excited for this movie. Yeah, um, I feel like this is gonna be the best Marvel one of the year. I'm so excited, and everybody's confirmed in it. Tom, I mean Toby. Did Andrew, did they actually? Oh, okay, they're all confirmed in it. <laughs> so they're doing the whole Spider Verse thing. Yeah. That's gonna be insane. I like that uh, that they changed the costumes too for some of the people. Yeah. So I don't, I saw um he's Electro or Shock? No, yeah, Jamie Foxx is Electro. Electro. They changed it. I think the first movie, the movie he was in, he was they had blue electricity or something like that. Yeah, they went back to the original yellow. Yeah. So <laughs> now he has like a true costumes, mm-hmm. which I'm all down for, and. Yeah. uh yeah, No Way Home seems like it's gonna be like and they, really, the fact really that they brought back all the actors that play these villains too. Um, I was more excited about it's that. Crazy! It's like it's crazy. like they really made it nostalgic. And then at the end of Venom two, alluded uh, to the fact that Venom's gonna be in it, and I'm like, yo! If if <laughs> yo. he's in this movie, yo! This might go down as one of the best Marvel movies, best ever. Marvel movies ever. 
Word. just from like the cast and like all the characters in one movie. If they yeah. pulled out, so the hard thing is like Spider Man Three. They try to put all these different characters in it. It just didn't go over well. Yeah, this is just, it's a little this too much. Bad writing and bad. Yeah, but this one, I feel like if they can pull it off. Yeah, one of the craziest movies ever. Because he, w- they did so many arcs in one movie. Like he could have. You gotta ride the venom wave out. Like he got oh, yeah, they, they rushed. It, it could have been a two thing. part. Could have been a two part thing at least. Yeah. He was, he, he kept it to Black Spider Man, and then or Venom Suit Spider Man, and then the second part just like full Venom. Yeah. Like, kind of transition between the first one. Right. And the second one was like just full Venom. Cause that would have been that would have been crazy. It would made more sense that way. Yeah. Cause then, cause they had Hobgoblin in there, and Spider Man was just Hob was, was like kind of like rushed as crap. Yeah, like, it was, <laughs> he didn't really see much of him. Yeah, really. it make no sense. It was like one, he was pissed, or early he was pissed. Like I didn't really think they even really explain the suit or anything. Yeah, he just it did. Was it. Like you obviously just see him pop up, beat the crap out of Spider Man. Yeah, and then he almost died, and then later on, I'm a good guy now. <laughs> I kind of wish Andrew Garfield got a, a third movie, but I guess it's okay. I don't know what goes over there. Goes on over there at Sony. He apparently he got like a lot of hate or something like that. Really? From what I heard, hmm. like people was like ragging him. I don't know why, because I really like. I didn't know he was cool. British. Yeah. So it was Tom Holland. I didn't. Well, I knew that. Well, I didn't know that at first, and then, but like, I guess like an interview afterwards yeah. when he was talking, I was like, wait, what? Yeah. But I don't know if the. Do you know if they're bringing back? What's her face in Mary Jane? Or is Zendaya Kier- going to play all Kier- three versions? Kirsten, Kirsten? Kirsten Dunst. Oh, yeah. I don't like her as Mary Jane. She doesn't uh, match the comic. Because I've seen, I seen some, uh, some like, yeah, they had, you know, they show like the characters and the actor picture of the actor who played them. Yeah. I've seen it like, they obviously they had the different three Spider-Men. Yeah. But I've seen like Zendaya play like, and they just basically had her picture with like different wigs or whatever on. Oh. Playing like <laughs> different funny. versions of like, because they had like her like a redhead red hair for i guess like um the first was it actual right pictures or was it uh like the show like the headshots yeah and stuff and or was it someone costume? edited because you know how the internet is nowadays uh, uh, i don't know <laughs> people are crazy with photoshop nowadays i just yeah that's crazy i just don't yeah i'm just i'm really curious as how they're gonna do that if they're having mary jane in it well i know they're gonna have mary jane for tom holland spider-man obviously yeah for the other ones i wonder i'm curious as how that is your name actually mary jane and Tom Holland is MJ, which yeah. basically... I mean, they, they never... Yeah. I guess so. It was yeah. to it. And I like how, the, especially the first, his first one, they didn't even say it turned yeah. into like the end. So he wasn't sure if that was MJ or not. <laughs> and it was funny. That they, they never said with great power comes great responsibility or anything like that either. Mm-hmm. Like they, well, they kind of did it like... They kind of alluded to that. that too, yeah. yeah. It's more like... Iron Man was his mentor. That's yeah. Like, there's more of that between that relationship. Versus the whole Uncle Ben thing. Yeah. But no, I'm excited for that one. Oh, I'm so excited. I think do it you, comes out uh, on the 17th. Do you like follow like spoilers and stuff like that? Or do you, are you like, when when a new movie is announced or you know a movie is coming out, do you like watch every trailer or everything or do you? And I, I watch most of the trailers too. I think now, now I'm, uh, I watch like one I get the date and I'm like, all right, I'll uh, that's see it. it. Uh, like most of the time, I already know if I'm gonna go see the movie or not. Like a Marvel movie, so far, pretty sure I'm gonna see everyone, true. one way or the other. How are you? Uh, do you, you have Disney Plus and all that stuff too? Yep. So like, we were talking about that the other day. Um, I was talking to my brother about it. How like the movies coming straight to HBO Max and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean. I mean, y'all listen to the podcast, but I don't think it's gonna get to HBO or Disney Plus <laughs> or whatever. But I, it kind of, I'm not, I'm not too pressed to go see it in theaters if I know for a fact that it's about to be on, uh, yeah. on Disney Plus. <laughs> like, like, um, I think it's pretty safe to assume that all the Marvel movies are gonna come to Disney Plus. Yeah. Now, not immediately because Shang Chi wasn't on there at first. Yeah. They did that exclusively in theaters, but it was like a month after. But it was like, I, I guess they learned after Black Widow. Yeah, there's some whole dispute between that. Yeah. I guess it was something in her contract that it wasn't supposed to go to streaming services. Oh. So um, I guess they changed whatever, whatever. But um, saying she has been like two months. I think it's been like two months. They waited like two months and they put it in there. Some movies just go direct. I guess if they know it's not going to sell that well in box office or it's Mm -hmm. not as big as a hit, 
then they'll just send it directly to like Disney Plus or HBO Max. Yeah. Um, kind of, and a lot of it just had to do with like people can't go to theaters. So like, yeah. remember when uh, Mortal Kombat came out? Yeah. It was straight on like HBO Max. But that was, wasn't that the year before? Or was that this year? It was earlier this year. Earlier this year? Was the theaters open back up? Maybe. The Mortal Kombat was good. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some movies I'm not particularly sold on. So I'm like, ah, come to streaming services. I'll just watch it there. Oh, uh, yeah. And then, uh, like, I'll see, I'll see Spider-Man in theaters. Uh, there's some movies I would like, even if it came to streaming services, I'm still going to go see it. In yeah. Theaters. Like, Spider-Man is, like, must-see. Yeah, I'll theaters. see that. I'll see theaters. Um, how'd you feel about the Mortal Kombat movie? Uh, I liked it. I didn't really like the Cole character. Yeah, this I, whole time like, I thought he was an actual character in Mortal Kombat. Nah, I, I, I knew he wasn't an actual character. It was something they just made up. Yeah. But I felt like it was supposed to, like, it was, I was let down. I guess I expected <laughs> more from him, especially with, like, his power stuff. I was like, that's yeah. kind of stupid. I was like, you're like, I thought it was, like, some kind of descendant of Scorpion. So I thought he'd be, like, basically Scorpion reincarnated. Like, yeah, I'm in a full-blooded, heated argument with the, one of the sales guys that likes Mortal Kombat. And I'm like, no, that's that's Scorpion's, he's he's just another version of Scorpion's son, like, in the game. He's like, nah, bro, that's a different guy. Because, you know, his, in one of the games, they got, like, the future kids or whatever. Yeah. And then I think one of the kids got that same suit, but he has, like, the the rope things. Oh, yeah. And, uh, to, 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 to I don't, I'm not I don't know his name. I haven't played in Macomb in a while. Yeah. But, it was, it was like, the general of the movie was good. Like, I just, like, especially the fatalities when uh, Kung Lao yeah. did that fatality. I was like, oh, snap, they actually really did the fatalities. Yeah. <laughs> I, <was like, laughs> I kind of wish, like, another another uh, voice, like, just randomly said it. Oh, that would have been pretty cool. That would have been cool. And then <laughs> I was, another podcast I listened to, it was like, man, they really missed out on, like, if someone did a, the uppercut. Like, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> I like how they they had like some Easter eggs. Like, remember you ever played you played the game, right? And yeah. You just spam the legs, the floor sweep. Yeah. They just did they did that in the movie. Like he just got like spam, like he coming out just kept spamming the floor sweep. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like I saw that and I was like, "Yup, that's what we all used to do." <laughs> yep. Legs sweep. Whoop, as soon yep. as you get up. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But no, uh, it was it was good, uh, especially the beginning. Especially like main, I think it was mainly just between Scorpion and Sub Zero's art. Yeah, you know, the scenes that they were in, it was really fantastic. The other characters, I feel like, could have been a little bit better, but like ma- generally, or like at least mainly with Cole, I think that was like the biggest problem I had mm. in the whole like him and just the connection yeah. between Scorpion. I thought it was gonna be like with those movies like that. Do you? Uh... I mean, so video game movies historically aren't that great. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd probably say Mortal Kombat's probably one of the better ones. Uh, what other video game movie was pretty decent? Uh, I know they have the Resident Evil. Resident Evil. I don't think I ever watched. I think I ever watched a Resident Evil. Yeah. Uh, there are some. What Prince of Persia? Assassin's Creed. I never finished Assassin's Creed and Michael Fassbend- Fassbender. Uh, I th- I think I've. I don't remember if I even watched the movie. Literally, was every that with Jake Gyllenhaal. No, Michael Fassbend, the guy that played Magneto. Oh, I don't think I've. I don't think I. I don't, I don't think I've seen. Oh, Jake Gyllenhaal played Prince of Persia. That's the movie. Prince I'm of Persia, of. which yeah, wasn't. That was, I, I, yeah, it, I didn't. I didn't see. It uh, didn't capture the game in the movie. No, I can be way better. I don't. I didn't see the uh, Assassin's Creed one. Yeah, we. Uh, every time we put that movie on, we went to sleep. Mm-hmm. Every time I actually completely forgot they even made Assassin's yeah. Creed. <laughs> <laughs> like we got it one time, I was like, "Come on, man!" So then we watched it again. We got a little further, and then next thing you know, it's tomorrow, and <laughs> <laughs> it's tomorrow. It's gonna do it. But uh, yeah, Mortal. Co- I felt like they pulled it off pretty good there. Um, yeah, I just one of the I better video games. I don't know if they pulled it off well enough to make another one. I haven't heard anything about a Mortal Kombat. Mortal movie. Kombat Two, or whatever other name they would call it. Well, who would you want to see in the next one? Uh, oh yeah, okay. So the final fight between Scorpion and Sub Zero, I kind of wanted it to be like more, 
Yeah, like it was good for what it was, but I wanted, to, I definitely wanted. More yeah, to more. I don't know if they, it was like a budget issue. Maybe they needed to. Dude, it was kind of quick. Yeah, but it was so iconic. You'd be like, get over here, and I was like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And give me a. I want to see like a real, almost like what a, a Mortal Kombat fight would look like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Game. <laughs> Even the fight with like reptile, I was like. Yeah. I, f- I wish they would actually show a reptile in the. Uh, I forgot what they called him. The actual ninja form. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I forgot what they humanoid called him. Humanoid form. They called it ninja or, yeah. people, but that was only cool. Uh, different cyborgs. That would have been nice to have those in there. Yeah. Um, yeah I'd probably do that. Like Cyrex Sector. I do think they're going to... If they do make another one, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Smoke. Yeah, so you'll else. have what, Smoke, Noob Cybot, and... Yeah. Uh, the other Sub Zero. Yeah, I think they're they'll definitely they definitely should be in the next one. And then uh, Ur Ermac, Ermac, yeah, yeah, I mess with Ermac. Yeah, Ermac it's gonna fire. Yeah, no, that's good. Uh, I don't know any other video game movie adaptation. Oh, uh, every Street Fighter movie that they do is horrible. Everyone, I think I only seen one. I think it was with Chun Li. Yeah, The Legend of Chun Li. Trash. Chun-Li. It was but, like. Uh, the girl used to play in Smallville, Christian Kruger. Something like yeah, that. it was it was decent. I mean, cause I guess for me, cause like I wasn't like a huge Street Fighter. I never played Street Fighter like that. Yeah, like I don't know the story of Street Fighter, so it's just like it's the character, I guess. Yeah, they don't have a. That was one of my graphs about Street Fighter. They don't have a. Yeah, I didn't know if they ever had a story. They don't have a story mode. I think they did one now, but it's kind of it's not that great. They're like, well, yeah, you got to read the comic books, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I bought a whole sixty dollar <laughs> game, and you guys can't. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna come up with a story <laughs> mode. <laughs> yeah, come up with a story mode. I feel like that's what when Mortal Kombat came back out, and they got like the Mortal Kombat Nine yeah. and like Ten or whatever. Oh yeah, they have like full blown stories. Full blown story stuff. mode. It was really good. Like, oh snap! Well, this is why this is happening. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh man, how hard is that to do? No, I gotta pay for DLC. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Damn. Uh, well, speaking of video games, video games are quick. Did you you have an Xbox, right? No, PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation. Are you gonna get an Xbox or a PC? Because <sighs> Halo Infinite, it's really good. So, it's just three hundred dollars. Like I would literally let you borrow my Xbox. And I keep Halo. I keep on. Every time I see it, I'm like, it's just three hundred dollars. You got that, and I'm like, you're right. But also, I have other things that I want to do. No, I'm the same way. <laughs> <laughs> other things that I'm I want to do way. and I'm trying to do. Matter of fact, that'll be your Christmas gift. I'm going to get you an Xbox. Because uh, we were thinking about streaming. Or you brought out the streaming. Yeah. So no, I mean, I think that would be something cool that we could do. Twitch yeah. streaming and stuff like that. But I'm also looking for... Because uh, I, I really want... like. Uh, like you said, like when we get like a studio, garage space or whatever, oh, yeah. then we could have that all set up in one room and uh, okay. that'd be that'd really vision. cool to do so. But yeah, I'm like, man, it's just $300. I could do that. Should have got an Xbox over that Impact because I already had Impact because I just kept buying my stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I <laughs> get an Xbox. Then I got to get live, but we have shoddy internet, which is why I don't want to do it because uh. the moment... You know, you're you're in deep, you're in deep, you know, you're in the trenches with your boys. <laughs> like, bro, what happened? It, it was, what happened? Uh, <laughs> and then I'm lagging. I'm I'm doing this. I'm doing this. You look at my character. I'm I'm stuck like this. <laughs> I'm doing the running man, and then oh. internet's out. So, no. Uh, yeah, that's not. that's the only reason why, and that's the reason why I'm not online with the PlayStation either, because it's just like. It makes makes no sense for me to pay for this, for me to. Crazy thing is, PlayStation used to be free. It was like one reason why I switched. Yeah. Like I always played PlayStation, but why? Like once my Xbox 360 broke. Yeah. I just didn't go back to it because I was like, well, PlayStation's free anyway. So right. I just do that. But now they like that. I guess they have to make money off of it now. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, and then PlayStation titles aren't really that. I mean. So they had Street Fighter, which I was like, all right, cool, I'll, I'll get Street Fighter. But then Street Fighter Five wasn't as good as yeah. I thought it would be. And then they didn't put a Kuma in and they made a DLC character, which all these video games now are, are like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're going to make this game, but we know you really like this one thing, we're making and we're going to put it behind a paywall, and you got to do extra. It's already done. We already did it, but we're going to have to pay more for it. So 
they're doing that and playstation exclusives aren't necessarily that great to me i mm. i mean i played god of war but i've never my fr- uh the playstation exclusive I, I got it the main reason i got playstation was for uncharted okay i never played uncharted that is to me is one of the best games you can play on playstation if you're not like third person like adventure and stuff yeah. like that because the whole game is literally like a movie hmm like it is so it's it's good. I think it's like four four games. Yeah. It's really good from beginning to end. And then it's really almost good. like that it, like the video game landscape isn't the same anymore. Mm-hmm. Like all the video games, everyone's trying to copy Fortnite and Yeah, that's that's what the wave is now. It's like games like that. Like yeah. uh like Warzone, Fortnite, and like with PC, they got I think League of Legends is still huge, Valorant. Like oh speaking of like every time like uh, video games the movies video games the shows there's a show called Arcane on Netflix it's on my list it's based off of like League of Legends yeah great all right well I guess I gotta watch it now great like I was talking about like Spider Man's animations oh uh, it's up there uh, here we go Marina now I really no I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna go make the play <laughs> no, but no. but like you you watch that animation and you're like dang this is like top t- they did a great job with this yeah so but yeah i just want to say it. yeah that's good um but yeah so i was talking about thanksgiving black friday spider-man yeah we did we went on tangent we yeah, sure we did. did uh as we um, usually do <laughs> it's all good yeah this is all this is all yeah, it was literally just two guys talking it wasn't even it's a like, it was camera. we talk about random stuff yeah, it's, it's a podcast it's what we do it's random stuff um yeah it's on my list of stuff to watch um i'm trying to also unnecessary purchases sabers lightsabers oh thing that i sent I'm you link, yeah yeah um now i'm on the fence about that too but i can't justify that purchase either. i was like i can't i can't either and i was like i got nobody telling me no and i was like do i really need to buy this thing? <laughs> what am i gonna do with this thing <laughs> but i had like I'll, I'll first get it start playing with like an hour like a little kid and i was like i'll probably just sit on the shelf for like yeah probably put up display you know what yeah actually you're right marina we need we do need to we finish our topics for today yeah keep on going no, keep no, on no, going. No, 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 no. we're out uh maybe we need to do an outro no do we need to say outro all right does it, i, I do think we, people, i think our outro we usually just give like a quote and be like that you know thanks for watching i think our outro yeah, i think pretty good. pretty decent yeah, yeah. i'm 100 beast mike uh spelt like the one zero zero beast mike on Instagram and YouTube, um, uh, links to everything, everywhere, 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 everywhere. Um, and if you're ever being chased by an alligator, remember to zigzag. They have really good straight line speed. They can run up to like 20, 25 miles per hour, but they have really short legs. So if you zigzag, you'll mess them up. <laughs> like sharp turns. Nice. Okay. If you're ever being chased, now you know. All right, have a blessed one, everybody. (laughs) Peace. (laughs)